this is where I'm going to work for the next coming years. And we never had a woman. So maybe one day you'll become, who knows, the mayor, maybe the prime minister. I'm Tina Teneriello outside Montreal City Hall, where Valérie Plante has officially arrived as the first ever female mayor of Montreal. She met with Montrealers this morning. There was a lot of cheering. And she told the young girl at the top of these stairs that one day she too can be mayor. Uh, my oldest son, once he came on stage, he said, Mom, do you realize that you will be in a history book? Relatively new to politics, the 43-year-old mother of two from Oueneranda was virtually unknown just a few months ago. We made history together. We did it together. This election was supposed to be a breeze for her opponent, Denis Coderre. But now, Projet Montréal, her party, has a majority government. Plante got 51% of the popular vote, compared to lifelong politician Coderre, who got 46% of the vote. I think they're, they're sick of the style that that's that's linked with the the, the, the the politician. She's unique, she's not a politician. When people say like she has no experience, well in her case, that's what got her elected. One thing that I learned by the previous mayor of this city was humility in politics is extremely important. Montrealers think she's charming and a breath of fresh air. Polls showed they thought Kader was arrogant and controlling. She built her campaign promising better public transit, including more buses and a new metro line. I'm ready to start right now. I, I, I want to have those projects done, and especially around transport and around mobility. Montrealers have told me during this campaign how important it is for them. I want to get Montreal, Montreal moving again. She says she'll be deciding her executive committee in the next few days and working with partners like the provincial and federal governments to move fast on her projects. She'll be sworn in November 16th. For City News in Montreal, I'm Tina Teneri.